Don't call, don't text, don't DM. I'm lost in the stream of consciousness. Ooh, a fish. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kim Love, aka the female Uzi. And I'm back with another video. So in today's video, beautiful people, today we're gonna be doing a seven things I've learned at 17. I was gonna do 17 things I learned at 17, but y'all, that's a lot, okay? And I could do many, many versions of these because I have so much more to say, but I just feel like thinking of 17 some things on the spot. I don't feel like doing that and, or explaining 17 things on the spot. Yeah, and we could do different editions or anything like that. Today is just, you know, general. Honestly, I guess these are some of the best things because I thought of them first. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow my Instagram. Go follow my TikTok. Go follow all my social medias so you guys can get part of the, you know, just beautiful people family because I have a beautiful eye filled with a bunch of beautiful people. Anybody who subscribes to me is a beautiful person in my eyes. Anybody who watches me, whether you're hating, whether you're not, you're a beautiful person in my eyes because you watch me. But, you know, whatever the case may be, I always see nothing but beauty in my life. I have a beautiful freaking life filled with a lot of great things, a lot of great people, a lot of beautiful people. So first things first, I have it written on the paper, by the way, <laughs> so I have control over everything in my life, okay? This is my life. I can only live my life. I can't live your life. I can't live my mom's life. I can't live nobody else's life but my own. So since I know this is my life, I can control whatever I want. You might be wondering, how can you control everything? I can control how I feel. When I feel good, good things happen. So technically, I control everything in my life. As long as I feel good and I can control my feelings. There's one thing you can't control. You can control your reaction to every single thing in your life. You can control what you do afterwards. You can control your thoughts afterwards. You can control all that. If something happens, you are the only person who can decipher how you feel about that and how that affects you. You know? So if something goes wrong or goes wrong, when nothing really goes wrong, because when a problem inserts itself, there's always a solution present. So that's why I feel like nothing can go wrong. If it doesn't go the way I maybe had pictured it or may have, you know, wanted it to, I just know it's something better because I don't like I, I just know I like I can control that. Like I can control how I feel. And that's something that I learned that really helped me through a lot, even with test school teachers, because I feel like a lot of the times you guys get too caught up in these outside, outside things, outside of uh, sources outside things like teachers parents blah, 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 blah. you rely on people from outside of your life to control your life like oh my god my teacher needs to give me a good grade this has to happen this has to happen like no I'm gonna do those things whether it's study whether it's other and I'm gonna believe that all that is easy to do because if I have something that I want to get done I know there's an easy way to do it because it's me I'm a beautiful person and I have a beautiful life and an easy life and everything is always working out for me so that's what I'm saying. You have control over how you react, how you feel, and how you go about life. So you can control your life. The second thing is I can do anything I put my mind to. So this is something I feel like we all learn as kids. You can do anything you put your mind to. But as you get older, I feel like that belief system like starts to fleet away. Because, of, like I said, the outside sources, like teachers, parents, things not happening the way you pictured it, maybe. Stuff like that. I think all those outside or external events that happened in your environment... I feel like those kind of impact what we believe that we can do. So you know, as you get older, you hear adults say stuff like life is hard or like you need this and you need to do this and you need to go to work and you need to go to co So you kind of get wrapped up in like what everybody else is telling you that you need to do and then you forget like I can do anything I put my mind to. I don't need anything right now. Everything is perfect as is. I can do things. I get to go do things. I get to get up and go to work. I get to go up and have fun. And I learned that from a Stevie Harvey video. If you know what I'm talking about, you get to go to work. You get to go to school. You can do anything you put your mind to because you get to do this stuff. You are here to create and create a beautiful life for yourself. You can do anything you put your mind to. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the sky. This is natural lighting. I also have ring light up, but it's natural lighting. I'm going to get a high rise penthouse and I want to view and I'm just looking out um, from Miss Bondi's apartment and it's just a beautiful like cloud I'm sorry I'm not sorry it's really beautiful but <laughs> anyways anytime you feel like you can't do something it's just because you don't believe you can and that may take some um practice habit of you know saying things to yourself focusing on things you've done you know like me anytime i think like something's too big for me i think of all the, like the other things i've accomplished and then it just calms me down and makes me realize that like oh 
no I, it's not that hard and i can do that you know and then you think about everybody else who's done it and i feel good thinking about it there are billions of people on this planet they done did amazing things we've seen amazing people do a lot of amazing things you're another amazing part of all this so who says you can't do it too you know the third thing is always expect the best for yourself okay nine times nine times of ten the thing holding us back is ourself our own beliefs that's the only thing holding you back from anything you want to do now i don't expect worse for myself unless my emotions are like off then of course you're going to start thinking thoughts that are bad and thoughts that like things are against you but nothing's against you okay nothing is against you but anyways so anytime you think of anything any situation your first thought will be what if this and it's something a negative more event start trying to do that in a positive direction like i'll stop i'll literally stop i'll be like this is my world i control the thoughts i have i can only live my life i see so many other beautiful women doing so many beautiful things i'm another beautiful woman and i have all these beautiful ideas wait why can't this happen for me wait i could do this because girl hold on because she done did it she done did it she done did it she done did it not only that if even if none of y'all done did it i could be the first to do it you feel like you always expect the best for yourself always expect the best and more you know because even even if something doesn't happen picture exactly how it happens my brain is set up to believe that there's something better on the way and you know what happens something better happens like, things can happen in plethora of ways just always believe that it's the best thing you know always try to find the best out of any situation always try to find focus on the best so more of the best can come to you you know Fourth thing, this is more towards relationships, but if somebody only wants you when they see, like when you're ignoring them, every time I come back, they don't, they act like they don't want me, and then anytime I leave, they always be like so obsessed, they want to come back. You know, when somebody believes they have something or they just have something all to themselves, they're not going to work hard for it. Look at yourself, like I have this notebook. This is not something I'm going to chase for. This is not something that's just going in my head, like oh I need this notebook, I need this notebook right now. No, it's right here. I'm not worried about this notebook at all because I know I have it. It's already here, it's mine, you know? So. Since they're like, how to do, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not something that I'm just gonna like hold dear to my head, you know? Like my bag. I love my bag, you know? My bag costs a lot of money, but I, I didn't spend no money on it actually. I got it for free. But I'm saying, I love my bag. So I'm gonna treat it properly because I want my bag in my life. You know what I'm saying? This paper, I can always buy another paper. This, these rich crackers, oh, I'm about to mess these up. Why? Because I have a whole pack back there. You get what I'm saying? it's secure I have it so when you are delusional over somebody and you're sitting here telling them that they're all you want and they're all you need and they're all you want for you and da -da 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 -da, you're just affirming this in their head oh I have them gotcha bitch okay so I'm just you know I just adore a chase when it comes a little bit when it comes to like dating I expect that other people like you always supposed to like seduce and attract and make them mesmerized and make them want to like get to know you more and da -da -da -da. so like it's this constant in and out and that's what it's supposed to be that's life things are in and out Wait, why do I have to play games why can't you be in love you're not supposed to be in love in the first week it's supposed to be an attraction it's supposed to be a dance a game a fun little rendezvous of experiences and fun between you and that person not trust issues and crying and all this stuff but that's what you get when you're sitting here telling somebody you're in love with them in the first week you're not that's what i'm saying that's one thing you need to learn it feels good to meet somebody new and of course humans love fantasy we love the wrong things in our head we love to create all these weddings and oh our baby's gonna look like this and, oh my god we get married and in the first week but that's the fun of it just stop taking the fantasy so seriously you can still fantasize and da -da -da -da. i try not to anymore because that does lead the emotions towards it why the emotions start curing up that's why the manifestation of you being like delusional comes up you know go on about your day and then not worry about them because you know they're gonna text you they're gonna die. you gotta believe that that stuff is gonna come to you so, and it just depends on what you want you know like i like that game of pulling in and out da -da -da. but now i know how to play it better to where we're both having fun and we're both enjoying each other's time Y'all need to learn how to date again. That's, that's basically what I'm saying. Learn how to date again, okay? I learned how to date again. I learned how to have fun in relationships and not always assume that someone's gonna be the love of my life and not tell somebody I'm in love with them in the first week. Not that I was doing that before, but y'all, it be, it, be, it be feeling like that, especially when you date girls. If you feel like you're in love in the first week, y'all, you not. Just have fun. That's what I've been saying. I don't know why I worded it that way. I, I think I was going somewhere else with that, but I, I don't know. Source led me to another thing, so I guess we'll say the, um, Fourth one is learn how to date, learn how to play cats in the, the attraction game and be seductive, attractive. Blah, blah, blah. 
Because people love Chase. Humans love Chase. Like, when they want you. Like, they're different. They, they, when they desire you. When they want you. You know? You want somebody to want you. Somebody to want you. Like, want you in their life. Want you there. You know? That, that's fourth. That's the fourth one. And stuff like that. I, oh, my God, y'all. The fourth one is just a bunch of things. I hope it resonated. Because I, I felt like I had to say all of that. So, fifth one. So, I desire a lot. I deserve a lot. And a lot's coming to me. And I have to be okay with a lot coming to me. And easily at that. Okay? I have to be okay with that. If I'm not okay with that, then anytime something does come to me easily, I'm going to mess it up by thinking that I don't deserve it. You need to learn that you deserve everything that you want. And if something comes to you easily, it's supposed to. That's your life. Your life is supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be free-flowing. Money is going to flow in. Stuff is going to flow in. People are going to flow in. A lot of good people. Not just one, but a lot. And then when you're ready for one, one will flow in. You know, did you feel what I'm saying? It's just that, that's basically number five. Like... Be okay with the good things happening to you. Be okay with a lot of easier and good things happening. Because the shift in the mindset I've been had with allowing good things to come to me and having good things come to me and da da da. I had to learn how to be okay with it. Because another thing I would do is I would feel guilty. I just feel like, oh wait, is it not supposed to be easy? Like, oh my god, this is like too easy. Like, what? Like, this is so you're supposed to feel okay with these things happening to you because you deserve them. They're supposed to happen to you. They're supposed to happen to you and easily at that. You're supposed to get things easily. Like, that, it's not supposed to be something you're to feel guilty about. Uh, number six, the thing I learned at 17 is to only speak good upon myself, okay? Only speak good upon yourself. Why? Don't speak nothing. Nothing. Not even as a joke. Don't speak nothing bad upon yourself. You are in control of your reality, which means that from the things you, the people you call, from the people you listen to, from the people you talk to, from the people you watch, from the things you watch, if you are only focused on good things and good things happening to you, do you know, like I've always thought about that, I always thought about like, what if I just never went on Instagram? Unless it was for the things that I wanted. Or what if I just never wanted to that? Like that absolute just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. That, that's not, I don't do that no more. I haven't did that in like the weeks. I don't just scroll, scroll. I have a purpose when I go on Instagram, TikTok, anything. I have a purpose. If I find myself about to scroll, I do it on the following side. I always do it when I want to look. I always, I make sure everything in my life is things that I want. Y'all be holding yourself back from your own blessings. Saying stuff like, I'm so or I'm so this, or I'm so that, or I'm so something negative, I'm so something negative. Like, no. I'm so wealthy. I'm so rich. Like, I, I am though. Like, because wealth can be found in so many places. It can be found in love. It can be found in anything. Like, it really can't. So, the seventh thing that I've learned at 17 is that money is infinite. Okay? Okay? If billionaires are existing, you can be one. <laughs> okay? I'm a millionaire. You guys don't got to know that yet. Y'all probably won't know that yet. But I'll write a book about it. And you guys will know. You guys will know. You guys will know. But I'm saying, like, money's infinite. I, I don't know how to explain it further than that. I mean, I can. Let me, you know what? Let me try. Money is infinite. Money is going to continue flowing. There's always going to be ways to get things, and you are always going to be an abundant person. Abundant in love, abundant in life, abundant in friends, abundant in income. Money just going to flow to you so easily, okay? Money is infinite. Money is infinite, okay? And when you get that through your head and have that set as a belief that money is infinite and money is going to keep flowing to you, regardless, regardless what happens, you're always going to be abundant, okay? I can't explain it further than that. I'm not going to explain it further than that. You guys are infinite beings. You guys don't hold yourself back from anything you want to do, okay? You guys are beautiful creatures. It's my world, and I live in a world filled of beautiful people. So I know if you're watching this, you have to be a beautiful person. And um, I, I resonate with only that. Like, literally, that's only that. I'm an embodiment of beauty. Like, I'm literally embodiment of beauty and love and life so um and i'm created with the same thing that's created trees and life and i can create my own life so i know i'm a beautiful powerful extension of source energy like i'm all that you know you are too you are too boy girl whatever you have the same biochemistry as these trees you have the same biochemistry as these clouds we are created from the same thing that created all of this so if you believe you can't do anything you're not because you're only as much as you believe you are and i'm beautiful and i'm an embodiment of beauty you don't have to agree with that because i know that and this is my world you don't have to agree you don't 
that's something y'all need to realize. You don't have to agree. Money is infinite and everything is going to work out for me. Everything is going to work out for you as long as you believe that. And then once you believe that, it's something you know. You don't even believe it. You know it. It's something that you can't even go against in your head. I can try to think of a bad thought for myself, but I just always laugh and think about how silly it is because my life has been going good so far and it's going to keep going good. And I know that anything that I want, I can give to myself because and Source will help provide all the cooperative, cooperative components, other people, opportunities. Source will have me in the right place at the right time always. This is the right place at the right time for me to be telling you guys all this stuff because you might need to hear this today. You probably did. That's why you were on this video. That's why you're watching this. It resonated with you. You're beautiful. You're an embodiment of beauty. You're, yes, you can do anything you put your mind to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow my Instagram, TikTok, hair page at the biggest lace bully. Go follow all that, okay? I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day full of fun and all type of fun experiences because you deserve it. Um, you might get some money today. Sure, you deserve that too. You feel what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all have a nice day. The summertime is coming. It's about to be real hot outside. So I think it got you fucked up. You need to get up. Notice I get so much love from pretty fly bitches. The, you know, the bum bitches be hating, but um, it's expected. But when it comes to like the little, you know, the pretty they come up, you know, hugs and kisses, I'm always